Giving medication is a serious part of your job. The process can easily be broken down into the five rights to make sure you're giving the right child the right medication by the right route, in the right dose, and at the right time. Let's take a minute to review each of these five rights, one at a time. You're busy, and maybe you're in a rush. You can have more than one child with the same name in your program. Or maybe you care for siblings with the same last name. Before you give medication, make sure you have the right child. In a large program, double check with the child's primary provider, even if you think you know the child. In a family-based program, be sure to double check the child's name on the medication label to be sure you have the correct sibling. Only accept medication that's in its original container with the original label. If it's in a random plastic container, you have no way of knowing if it's the right medication. The other important thing to know about the right medication is knowing the strength of the medication so you don't give the wrong amount. The strength is how much of the active ingredient is in one pill or one dose. Many medications come in both children and adult strengths, so there's a potential for great harm if you don't know the strength. That's why knowing the medication strength is just as important as knowing its name. The dose is how much medication to give. This is important to know because no matter what type of medication you're giving, if you give too much, there could be some adverse effects. If you give too small of a dose, the medication won't work as it should. That's why it's important when giving liquid medication to make sure parents give you the right tool, a dosing spoon, oral syringe, or other device. The root is the way the medication gets into the child's body. In this course, we cover giving medication topically, inhaled, into the eye or ear, into the mouth, using a medicated patch, and using an auto-injector to give epinephrine. Checking this is important because, believe it or not, there have been cases where children who were supposed to get antibiotics by mouth got the medication in the ear instead. The person giving the medication made this mistake because the tool for giving it was a syringe and they thought it should go into the ear. So always ask if you're not sure how to give the medication. Medication can be scheduled to be given at a certain hour or can have instructions that tell you what to look for when the child needs the medication. When a child arrives at your program, that's when you do your daily health check. Part of this check is being sure to ask parents if the child got any medication before she came to care, even if you're not going to be responsible for giving any doses during the day. This helps you make sure the child doesn't get two doses of medication. It also lets you know when you can give the next dose of an as-needed medication, which is medication that is not given at a certain time, but when a child shows symptoms that she needs it, such as an inhaler. Always refer to the medication instructions and read the consent form to know what you should be looking for so you know the right time to give the medication. Let's be honest, you have a lot going on during the day and it can be challenging to give medication at the exact time it's due. That's why for scheduled medication, it's important to know you can give it up to 30 minutes before and up to 30 minutes after it's due and still be giving it at the right time. Essentially, you have a one hour time span to give the medication. That means if a medication is due to be given at 1 p.m., you could give it as early as 12.30 or as late as 1.30. Any earlier or later, and the medication is not being given at the right time. But even with this window, you'll always want to try to give the medication as close as possible to the scheduled time, especially if the child needs to get more than one dose during the day. Infants nap at different times throughout the day, depending on what their body needs, so you may need to wake a sleeping child if a dose is required. Now that we know what the five rights are, let's talk about how to match them. If you make sure you're giving the right medication to the right child, match the child's first and last names written on the consent form with the child's name written on the label or package to the child you're about to give the medication to. To make sure you're giving the right medication, you'll match the name and the strength of the medication written on the consent form with the name and strength of the medication that is written on the label of the medication in your hand. 
Make sure the medication listed on the container's label exactly matches the consent form. Be careful because the names of the medication can sound alike and be spelled almost alike, but are very different. Sometimes parents buy generic medication because it's less expensive. You can only accept the generic version if the healthcare provider wrote both names on the consent form. If the consent form only has the brand name and the parent brings in the generic, tell the parent she needs to buy the brand name or ask the healthcare provider to add the generic name to the consent form. When parents drop off medication, if it comes in a box, remove the tube, bottle, or container, and match the name written on it with the medication name on the pharmacy label or package. Repeat this process not only when the parent drops off the medication, but each time you give it. To make sure you're giving the right dose, match the dose written on the consent form with the dose written on the pharmacy label or package. To make sure you're giving the medication by the right route, match the route written on the consent form with the route written on the pharmacy label or package with how you're giving the medication. Finally, to be sure you're giving the medication at the right time, match the time written on the consent form with the time written on the pharmacy label or package with the current time. Sometimes the pharmacy label doesn't have the time written on it. But as long as you are able to match the time written on the consent form with the current time, you can be sure you are giving the medication at the right time. If the medication is given when the child needs it, instead of at a certain hour, Match the information written on the consent form and make sure it matches the child's symptoms. For example, a child who gets an inhaler for asthma will need his medication when he is wheezing or short of breath. Make sure when you give the inhaler, the child is experiencing these symptoms. So every time you give the medication, you wanna make sure you have the right child receiving the right medication in the right dose by the right route at the right time. So be safe and make it a habit to match the five rights each and every time you give medication. To be sure you can locate and identify the five rights, complete exercise 2.1 in your handouts.